we got another video here. Um, this is an early season sturgeon trip for me. Uh, I don't fish the Delta. You know, I can, but I specifically grew up fishing in the Bay for sturgeon. Um, San Paulo Bay, San Francisco Bay. I can go up to the Delta too, but um, I know we don't start until we get some rain, you know, colder weather. One of the main reasons is we got to deal with sharks and rays and other little critters. And those things can get super annoying when you got, you got some ghost shrimp, some mud shrimp, whatever you're using. This ruined your day. Um, but we had a, a meeting on the 11th for sturgeon. Um, they're trying to make a catch when it's only in me and a few other captains. Um, the Golden Gate Fishing Association with, with James Smith and the rest of those guys. The James Stone from the NorCal Guides Association. We went to this huge meeting um, in San Jose with, with Fish and Wildlife and that commission. Um, some people were trying to make a catch and release, which, hey, that's your decision, your beliefs, awesome. Uh, I don't think the fishery is hurting the way they say it is. Um, I'll put a picture in this video, you can see. I find fish all the time. I see a lot of them. Doesn't mean they're gonna bite, okay? Um, and sturgeon is something I've been, that I've been doing for a long time. It's it's a big part of, of me and my fishing. Um, grew up doing it with my dad and grandfather and it's something that I care about, you know? Not that I'm just out there to kill every one of them. I believe that, uh, you know, if you have your tags and you're fishing responsibly, you should have a right to catch your sturgeon and tag it if you want. Um, unfortunately, some people don't feel that way, you know. Uh, and that, I guess that, like I said, that's that's their own own right. They're entitled to it. And um, but I think that all the information that they have on these fish that they're claiming that they're they're so low, the counts are low, and all this just nonsense. It's just just. I hate to say it, you're blowing it out of your ass. Um, and uh, it's not right. Uh, I think we should be able to really get some info, all of us together as captains, because I can't tell you how many times I see these research boats out there and they're dragging nets around and this and that. And they can't catch a single sturgeon with a net. Here I am on a boat with three or four guys, rod and reel, you know, hook and line. We got one, two, three, four fish in the box. You know, uh, not counting the ones we let go, the, the ones that are short. Last year we had some that are slot size, but smaller. We let them go, you know. You know, we're trying to target the mid-50 range, you know, the 50 to 55s and maybe 58. Um, we've caught a lot of big ones, you know. My my, my personal biggest is a 59 and 3 quarter inch one. Um, biggest I've had on one of my trips is 10 and a half feet. And we're talking shallow water, you know, and we see them all the time. Um, myself and, and Captain Paul Velez, Boss Hog, we, we know there's fish out there. A lot of the captains in the Delta know there's fish out there. Um, you know, they're catching a lot of fish, you know, as they should. There's only a handful of these charters that are doing it, but they're, they're fine-tuned. These guys know where to find them, and uh, this is what we do, you know. Um, so with that being said, they changed the rules. The laws are going into effect soon. They haven't officially finalized it but it's gonna be one fish per person per year so and the new slot limit is gonna be 42 to 48 inches and even for charters and personal boaters you can only have two fish on the boat per day so you tag two fish you're done and you can just do catch and release which hey it could have been a lot worse i see a lot of people complaining about it um i posted some stuff about the new rules and it's insane how many people are just blah 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 okay that's just you know i don't get it if you cared so much about it you wanted to change things you should have been there um should have voiced your opinions you know like i said everybody has their right to their opinion but hey it's not a complete loss we've already lost our salmon this year rockfish is a joke you know it, it impacts everybody not just the captains it impacts the bait shops, the tackle shops, you know, everything. It's uh, it's a big circle. So I think before you guys start hating on things and complaining about stuff, you know, 
it's more than just us. You know, it's a big circle and it's getting tougher and tougher in California for us to enjoy our sport. And I think like, like my buddy Paul said, what they're doing is with all those different rules, different different mindsets, it's, it's dividing us as anglers. It's making us like almost hate each other. You know, the guys that catch and lease, that's cool, I got friends that do it. That's good for them, you know? When they're on the boat with me, if they want to catch one and they don't want it, they want to let it go, all good, let it go. Me, myself, I've caught a lot of these things. I don't kill everyone, you know? I harvest what I need for home. I vacuum seal them, I save them, and it's a lot of fish, you know? Don't get me wrong. I don't eat it all at once, you know? Um, I share with family and friends that, that have a hard time catching them. I know people that have fished these for 20 something years and still haven't caught one. You know, I got I got friends that have boats and have all the equipment that go out there and it's hard. It's a hard fish to catch. And fortunately, you know, for me, I've had some really good luck. I've had some good influences on, on, on certain fishing. You know, like I said, Kevin Paul, you know, with Boss Hog, my dad, my grandfather, these guys were sturgeon killers. You know, they got them a lot, you know. I uh, was fortunate to hang out with the Kunang brothers when I was younger. I learned a lot from them. Like I said, I showed you guys that book. To this day, I haven't even opened that book yet. I don't know if I ever will. Um, take a quick glance at it, but I don't think I need it, you know? Um, I'm confident in what I've learned throughout the years, my experiences, and, and fishing with other great anglers that I know how to target these things. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I've, I've asked for some of these guys that they go out and do tagging and research on these fish to come out with me. Um, you know, I fish different bodies of water that most people don't. I've caught them, you know, all over the bay. Um, caught them off piers, come off the shore when I was younger, the rocks and you know, the Salmon Tail Bridge, you know, they're, they're all over the place. I see them jumping when I'm trolling halibut. You can't tell me that there's not enough, you know? Um, it's just sad. I think everybody should just fish together, you know, work together. We all enjoy our our fishing and we should all work together on, on doing it. But like I said, these rules and beliefs are dividing all of us as anglers and, and fishermen, you know, it's just, it sucks. You know, we should all be able to just enjoy our fishing, have fun and, um, Keep doing what we've been doing all these years. These fish have been around for a long time, you know, millions of years. They've survived a lot. They survived like way longer than a lot of stuff that, that, we've, that we've done. You know, we've been through wars, we've been through all kinds of crap. These things are still here, you know. Um, they're very strong, really resilient, they're tough, you know. Uh, who knows how many of these are out there? I, you know, like I said, I, I've marked hundreds of them. I've even seen them caught in Ensenada and down in Baja, you know. They travel, they go up and down the coast. I've seen them, you know, on the beach in Pacifica, washed up, you know, getting hit by a boat or something. But um, anyhow, enough of that. Just wanted to just get that off my chest. Enjoy the video. Um, we fished for a couple hours. We had 20 something, you know, little ghost shrimp. And right upon a stopping, we hooked one, it was Trevor's first one, his keeper. I hooked one right after, that was just half inch short. And then Carla hooked another one. Uh, it's still early in the season, but I didn't have no problem finding them. You know, we marked them, we saw some jumping. And as time goes on, it's only gonna get better. Hopefully I'm able to get another one before this new rule takes an effect, because I'd like to harvest one more, more decent one. So, anyhow, enjoy the video guys, and I hope to see you guys out in the boat with me this this winter uh it should be fun okay so we'll check on you guys next week hopefully we'll do another video and like i said in the previous video we're gonna have the captain's quarter show podcast slash we'll talk show over here coming up soon i don't know if it's a talk show but you know we'll go over some some cool things we've done over the years in the videos so anyhow i gotta get out of here i gotta finish making some leaders um it's sturgeon time so We'll see you soon. All right, later. All right, good morning. We are out on our first scouting trip for sturgeon for the winter time. So, 
hopefully we can get some fish, you know. There has been a rule change, it hasn't taken an effect yet, but that rule change is gonna be 42 to 48 inches, new slot size, and one fish per person per year. Two fish per boat per day, regardless of how many people are on board. So we're gonna take advantage of it and try to get some fish before it changes. And uh, let's see what happens, you know? Got uh, street lights is back in the house. Look Let's at this guy. Him. We're gonna get him today. Hell yeah. So we got Carlo on here. There he is. It's just like surgeon weather out there. Just a crew oh, yeah. day. So hopefully we'll get him. We will. Off to Jurassic Park we go. Let's See you guys it. in a bit. Fuck yes, bro. Woo! What? Ten, ten minutes? Ten minutes. Ten First minutes. trip back. Nice. Gonna tell Carlo how that bite was. It was very pitiful. I mean, if I. Oh, I'm gonna call it 42. 42 works? Yep. Minutes later. Point that camera toward me. You're good. You're good. You're good. You get on it right when I get this up. He's coming. Quick. Here, here. Is this the big one? You want to use the blue one, right? Yep.
Fish on, fish on, fish on. Monterey right there. Putting in the hurt. Not everyone loves Ray Romano. Nope. Another little shorty, 38 and a half. No, don't give them. Again, I need the fins in the front. 
Put one hand underneath and I'm gonna tail the other hand. No, you don't wanna kill him. Okay. Nice. The scoots are sharp, right? Yep. Sides up a little bit. See he's sucking in oxygen yeah, in his gills. He's starting to move. It's awesome just to see this. Surgeon love. There he goes. He gone. All right, well, that's uh, it for the day. We ran out of bait and we had two shakers. Mine was a half inch short. Carlos was a inch short. Trevor got 42. Um, not bad, yeah, but still a little early, just trying to get it in while we can, so we're going to definitely be back, hopefully we can get some before this new rule gets in place, but uh, yeah, what do you got to say Trev? Good day, a little exploratory trip, learned some good things, saw a lot of marks down there, so confident we can get them. I think we got our first one within 10 minutes of getting baits in the water. So and then the second one right after. Second one right after, third one right after and it's a good day. Good day. I'm the rookie of the trip. I didn't know what a bite felt like until I got one. <laughs> uh, but I got a fish on board. It was too small but uh, these guys put me on the fish and showed me everything I needed to know. So it was a good trip for me. Learned a lot. So yeah, so you guys want to come out and do some some sturgeon fishing. I'll make sure I have my crispy socks on for you. You know? So I'm marking fish now. It's bad to leave when you're marking one, two, three, four. Let's put it on full screen so you guys can see. Look at that. They are definitely Just fish around, you know. That's a nice one right off the bottom. Right there. We're marking them. Locking them, we're locking them. Out here by Bahaba.
that's a good thumbnail right there. All right, that's your first keeper. Nice. First keeper. How's it feel? Feels good. After yeah. fighting seven footers last year, it's nice to get a small little keeper. And handing some, some good ones off. Oh yeah. Nice. So uh, what did you use? What was the rod? Kuma Monterey. Nice, medium, what model? Medium heavy. There you go. There you go, man. Put good the herd to him quick. First five minutes. Eating good tonight. Let's get him flayed out. 